Hello, everybody. I wanted to show y'all something. I bought this book and I want to share it with you all so I can keep myself um, consistent. <laughs> I feel like the only way I can keep myself on track or to do things is to share it with y'all. So I want to share this with my people. This book. This book is called The ABCs of Self-Love. And it's a simple guide to loving yourself, reclaiming your worth, and changing your life. And I don't know how to link stuff yet, but this is... I bought this at Five Below. Um, I had a friend uh, post this. And so... I was like, you know, I'm a real, I'm real big on journals, real big. So I have plenty of journals. Let me show y'all. I have this one, which is the five minute focus book where every minute, every day or whenever you want, you take five minutes for yourself to just go through this book. And I have not started this book yet. It's not dated and pretty much it gives you a saying and it gives you some questions. It asks you. And so that's kind of what I want. Like, I need guided things. So, and then I have books that I just write in. Just good old journal books. Um, see, the pages are blank. There's nothing. You just write these books. I have these books because I like to share my feelings and you know, just how I feel about certain things or my emotions. And not all the time I can share my feelings with people who are near and dear to me. Um, I get a lot of people that say things like, I come off aggressive. I come off um, argumentative. I've had men tell me that I'm... What do you call it? Arrogant? I've been called everything in my life. But one of my main focus is not what other people think of me or what other people want to think of me or anything like that. I don't care because, like, to know me is to love me. You really, I am one of those people you really got to get to know. Like, if you don't take the time out to get to know me, whatever is on this shell, that's what you get. So, what I decided to do with this book is I took the alphabet. Um, I used to be a daycare provider. And so, I used to have like little things for the kids to do. And I found an old sheet that had alphabets on them. And so, I just, I'm going to throw them in this jar. And every day, I'm going to go in this jar. And we're going to pick out a letter together. So every day we're going to pick out a ladder and I'm going to sit on here and I'm going to read everything to y'all. And so let's do the first one. Although I already read letter A, but I did not do the assignment or task or whatever you want to call it. So here I am. Get us a good little shake. Okay. This is the letter C. Shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> the letter C stands for the four C's. Clarity, commitment, creation, and community. The four C's, clarity, commitment, creation, and community. When choosing a diamond, there are four C's, cut, clarity, color, and carrot weight. When it comes to choosing yourself, there are four C's as well that together embody your self-love journey. The first C stands for clarity, which represents getting to know your authentic self needs wants and goals clarity is the pathway to intentional living it makes your happiness something that isn't confidential coincidental <laughs> or fleeting 
but rather a gift you give yourself by knowing and honoring yourself. The second C stands for commitment, which represents committing to daily practices to honor your true self and nurture your mind and body. Commitment is what transforms your clarity into manifestation. Though, mm, I can't read today. <laughs> Thoughts into actions, dreams into waking life. The third C is creation, magic, which is what you manifest when you love and choose to love yourself daily. Creation is what happens when clarity and commitment comes into alignment. When you unlock parts of yourself you didn't even know existed, perhaps even the best parts. The fourth, the fourth C is for community, which is what you will cultivate around you to support and celebrate your commitment to yourself, your clarity, and your creation. Because self-love is not a solo expedition, exactly the opposite. When you move through the world from a place of self-love and worth, you seek out human connection with others who are also on a similar journey. You choose yourself and as a result are whole enough to deeply connect with others. So the assignment says self-love in action. For the next four days, pick one of the four C's to focus on. Day one, clarity. Spend 15 minutes first thing in the morning, journaling in response to these prompts. I am, I need, I want, I believe, I know, I can, and I will. Okay, that's day one. And I'm not going to be doing this in the morning. It's always going to be at night when I get off work right before bedtime. So I'll have my whole day ahead of me. And what I want to do tomorrow or what I want to do that day or what I want to change. Whatever the case may be, that's what I'm going to do. And so let me get to my assignment. And um, y'all let me know if y'all go down to Fabulo and get this book. Too bad y'all can't tell them I sent you. Too bad I don't have a discount code. <laughs> but we can do this together. Like, let's love ourselves together. And um, I know I was supposed to... Oh. Bloopers. Anywho, I know I was supposed to, like, make a video of my tattoo and its meaning. But uh, why don't we talk about it now? And so, I'm not really a big religious person um i used to be years ago uh some things have happened in church homes to where um i felt like that just didn't fit me my personality and the things that i believed in and so um i stopped going to church but i didn't stop believing in something like um a lot of people, you know, they make everything about religion. And I'm just, I'm not one of those people. I'm a very spiritual person. I love the earth. I love to grow things. I love to see things grow. If you've never put a seed in the ground and watch it grow, you don't know what that excitement is. It's almost like having a baby, but it's, it's a little bit different. It's like I created that. I did that. It's all you. It's nobody else. You don't need nothing. You don't need a man to do it. You don't need, you know, things of that nature. So, like I tell everybody, I love gardening. And um, with my mental health illnesses and the things that I struggle with daily, um, I find meditating and um, self-love and things of that nature, um... Uh, helps me get through a lot of the things that I go through in life. And so real quick, I just wanted to show y'all. This is the sun and the moon. We all know what that represents, day and night. Right here in the middle is a stone that is not a coffin. <laughs> it's a chakra stone. 
I'm going to get it filled in with color later on. This was enough for me on my hand that day. Uh, we have my version of the evil eye. Okay, to ward off evil spirits. This is my yin yang. Okay, my zodiac sign because I'm a Sagittarius. Uh, and let me tell y'all, I'm not really big on zodiac signs. Like, yeah, some zodiac signs, people have similarities. But me, I believe your human experience, the way you were raised, things you believe in, all of that makes who you are. Your personality, your attitude, all of that. And so I don't believe that just your zodiac sign can tell one person everything about you or slightly enough about you it can give you a glimpse in somebody world but it's not going to tell you exactly about that person i've met libras that lie okay lie cheat still right in front of your face and make it look like you did it you the wrong one it's your fault you it's your fault i i lied to you i've i've met some of those people but i've also met libras that are really nice and I can connect with them. Now I will say this, men Libras, stay away from me. But for some reason, I've dated too many. I don't know why they keep coming my way. Same thing about cancers, but we ain't even finna go there. But anywho, yeah. So I have my Zodiac sign just because it's mine. It represents me and who I am. And this is my own interpretation of what I am. I don't care what nobody else say about Sagittarius or anything like that. I am my own person. Um, that's that. I have the infinity sign. And the Ankh. Okay. This is just a um, design. This is not really a thing. But this is designed to be like a dream catcher i want peace and tranquility in my life okay so also i have this uh, let me see if i can turn so if you know what a comma or a semicolon is for which i have both and i have a music symbol i'm really big on music y'all i love my music okay i love my music and um the semicolon and the comma represents a pause in your life okay where it can be either traumatic or it could be something happy or it doesn't have to always be something traumatic a lot of people think that semicolons only represents suicide awareness and it don't um the semicolon represents mental health awareness. And so does the comma. And I want it both because I've had pauses in my life that causes me to make drastic changes in my life at like the snap of a finger. I had to leap out on faith and do that. Um, I've also, um, I can't say I'm a victim, but um, I've attempted suicide uh, several times in my life i was younger though i was younger um i still have thoughts but we working through that but music 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 my music note it's right here for a reason it's right next to all this trauma because through those traumatic days, through those traumatic hours, through everything traumatic I've ever been through, music has gotten me through it. Like, music has helped me so much. And I just wanted something that I can see every day. Because a lot of people like, why did you choose your hand? Why did you choose your hand? I chose my hands because, for one, I have the most pretty hands in the world. I broke this nail. These nails finally came off. But yeah. Ain't that crazy? This hand is perfect. <laughs> but I have pretty hands. And I use my hands every day. I talk with my hands. Um, This is a daily reminder for me. Daily. 
and I want it forever. And I wanted to make a promise to myself that I will not get meaningless tattoos. I wanted to get tattoos that mean something to me, that, um, you know, special to me. I don't care how nobody else feel about them. I don't care what it makes nobody else feel or what they do. This, this is for me. Yeah, it's pretty, but it's for me. It's not for the world. This is my daily reminder. This is the start of my self-love. This is the start of my spiritual journey I'm on. This is this is this is me. It's for me. It's not for nobody else. It's for me. So keep all your negative comments to yourself. Okay. Well, I can give you two sang two fingers and we can swing them. Okay. Okay. I ain't the one or the two. Now, I don't like arguing with people in these comments. But, um, if I need to check you, I will. But, anywho, let me do my first letter, which is one of the C's. So, apparently, <laughs> maybe one letter going to take me four days. Maybe it won't. I don't know because... I'm not going to go through this book straight through ABC. We are going to go through this book very randomly. And um, the lady who wrote this book, her name is Melanie Goffrey. Go Goffrey. This is her. But <clears throat> y'all, even, <clears throat> even if you don't find this book, Five Below have a whole bunch of journals and a whole bunch of things. Well, if you want to start your spiritual journey or you want to start your self-love journey or whatever journey you on, I guarantee you there's a journal for it. It's a journal for it at Five Below. Go to Five Below. I'm telling you, they got it. But um, I got to get to this book in this exercise for the letter C. And tomorrow, I will come back and... We'll be doing the second part of Let Us See. What is the second part? Clarity. Commitment is for tomorrow. So we'll do commitment. Yeah. Ooh. Y'all. <laughs> I just read it. It says day two commitment. It says devote at least one hour today. To honoring the discoveries you made yesterday about who you are by engaging in some self-care. Do something that is just for you. Write down what you did and share how you felt afterwards. Oh my God. Yeah, let me not look at no more. This journal finna get deep. Mark my words. So... As always, y'all, y'all go ahead and have y'all a good old day and um, enjoy the rest of y'all night because I'm about to write in this book and I'm about to start my little self-care, my self-love journal. Yeah, I got a whole bunch of these, but they for different things. And so I just bumped this one up to the top. I figure it's New Year's, you know, it's January. We still within that first. It's today the eighth. <laughs> today the eighth. I was gonna say first seven days, but um we still in that first week. And I'm gonna start this journal. So y'all go ahead, have y'all good night, enjoy the rest of your night, and wake up tomorrow and smile. And remember that you are blessed, you are loved. And you are wanted, even if not by the people around you, by somebody. There is somebody for everybody, okay? So y'all go ahead, and I'll talk to y'all tomorrow.